All right, in this clip, we're going to be looking at how to find the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. We're going to look at sequence presented in a patterns format. Question 8 reads, the shaded boxes in the figures below represent a sequence. So we can see figure 1, 2, 3. We are focusing on the shaded boxes. Okay, question, if figure 1 represents the first term and this pattern continues... How many shaded blocks will be in figure 35? Obviously, we're going to have to use a formula here because we do not have enough space to draw figure 35 and it will take forever. All right. So what we're going to do first is determine if this sequence is a geometric sequence or an arithmetic sequence. We are looking for a particular term, figure 35 or the 35th term. So uh, we're going to be looking at the nth term formulas. All right. So these are the formulas that will be guiding our problem solving process. We're looking at the formulas for the nth term of a sequence. Now, the first one is the arithmetic formula. So if you have an arithmetic sequence, basically repeated addition, your formula, the formula for the nth term is going to be an equals the first term plus n minus 1 number of terms minus 1 times the common difference d. Okay? Formula 2, if you have a geometric sequence, basically a sequence where terms are are generated by repeated multiplication the nth term will be a n equals the first term times the common ratio raised to the number of terms minus one okay so let's look at this sequence closely and see if it's a uh, if it's an arithmetic or a geometric sequence okay so in the first box figure one let's count how many shaded boxes there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 there are 12 shaded boxes okay so now the question is what's the difference between this figure figure one and figure two all right so if you look at figure one you have the central box and they have one two right so if you look at figure two you have the central box and then one two Okay, so this is basically where what figure one is as a part of figure two. So what was done to figure one to generate figure two? They just simply added on one, two, three, four. Four boxes were added on the ends of these uh, boxes. Okay, that is how figure two was generated. Alrighty, so we can confirm just by counting the number of boxes uh, here in figure two. One, two, three, four in the center, four. And the next, every, um, if you go out every box, you're going to just add four. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So there are going to be, there are sixteen shaded boxes here. Okay, so the growth from figure one to figure two was simply one where you added four more shaded boxes to the ends. Okay. What do you think is going to be the case in figure three? We can guess what it is, right? Because figure three is following the same pattern. You see how you have one, two, three here. Starting from the central box here, you have one, two, three, four. So four more boxes were added on the outs on the outside, just as we did in Figure Two. So you expect there to be eighteen. So we add four here. You're gonna have um, twenty boxes, twenty shaded boxes here. All right, and then that basically means you're adding additional four. You can verify that by counting. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, we can see that the terms of this sequence are generated by repeated addition. So this is the first term. Let's change the color of that. The first term is A1. That one is 12. 
the second term, 16. The third term is 20. The question is, what is the 35th term? All right. So we know what formula to use. Let's just write a remark. Uh, since a constant, the same number, is added repeatedly, what does that tell us? The sequence is arithmetic. So we are basically going to be using formula number one for this problem. All right. So A1, let's write down what we need and what we know. Uh, A1 is the first term. A1 is 12. So that's the first term. And then N represents the number of terms for what you're looking for. So we're looking for the 35th term. So we're going to go all the way to 35. All right. N is the number of terms. D is a common difference or how the constant that you add every single time. Okay. The common difference is four because you add four every single time. And then a N in this particular problem is a 35 because N is 35. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what we are looking for. We're looking for the 35th term. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and uh, plug it in. So AN, which is A35, we're now going to use the formula is equal to the first term, 12, plus the number of terms on the consideration, 35 minus 1, times 4, the common difference. Now we're going to use... Please excuse my Dan Sally to simplify the right side of this equation. All right, so we have the parentheses component. Simplify that first. 35 minus 1 is 34. Multiply that. So now we have addition and multiplication. PEMDAS and multiply before you add. So 12 plus 34 times 4 is 136. 136 plus 12 is 148. So the answer to question number 8 is option two 148 shaded boxes for uh figure 35. thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation don't forget to help support our channel tons of support resources can be found at mathgotserved.com if you have any questions about what we just went over or any math questions in general just post it in the comment section below and we'll be glad to assist you thanks again for watching we'll see you in the next video goodbye